Libra, hello collectors, and welcome back to the channel. Supreme gratitude for clicking on the video. Your support really means a lot to me. We're going to tap into your next seven day energy. Ooh. Last week I was late putting y'all reading up. As I see a lot of y'all did not see that reading, but it is up. Um, this video is attached to the playlist. You can look in the playlist. I posted it on Saturday um, instead of your regular day. So right now your days are coming on Thursdays. Um for Libra readings, okay? You can have Libra in your sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Cross watches are also welcome here, okay? Everything that you need to know is in the description box below. Um, you can book me for a personal reading, uh, life coaching, spiritual coaching. Uh, we do full EFI services. You name it. We have a prayer call every morning. Posted by me absolutely free. Check out the description box. My phone number is also in the description box below, okay? Seven of Cups. Ooh. Huh. Let me put them back. King of Wands in reverse. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Aries Leo Sagittarius. Death in reverse. Two of Swords in reverse. Somebody wants you to get this message very bad. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Keep in mind, energy is fluid, so reverse the roles as need be. King of Swords in reverse. Okay. The Hierophant and then the King of Swords in reverse. And then the Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Cups in reverse. The Ten of Swords in reverse. All right. So, Libra, you're all over the place, okay? You're all over the place in reference to what you want to do. Um, I think that you're holding on to something and you're trying very hard not to give this situation up. But it's chaotic here. It's a lie. You're dealing with the King of Wands in reverse. This is someone with Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and a prominent placement in their chart. They are very codependent. They are liar. They're manipulator. Um, they look good, but they have nothing good to offer you, right? And this is something that, you know, either you are not wanting to end or they are not wanting to end. And I feel like it's you, Libra, because if you if you end this, then, you know, you're going to have a new beginning. But I don't think you want a new beginning. Maybe you've invested a lot of time with this situation, but you're realizing that this situation is not working for you. The situation isn't 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 aligning. But you're not listening to your intuition. You're not listening to you know your brain. You're moving based on c complete emotion, not logic, not not common sense, not anything. Just complete emotion, emotional in reference to the situation. This individual is very codependent. They could be having money problems. They could be leaning on you to assist with money. And I'm hearing you got enough things on your on your own that you got to deal with, okay? Now, you could have been in a long-term connection with this person or even married to this person, okay? Or this person could be married, okay? Um, again, you have the King of Swords here in reverse right next to uh, the Hierophant, right? Again, someone that is not so bright, someone that is that that is definitely a liar um someone that flies off the handle with their words um you know someone that's just out there and this could be you libra right but you just you even though you see this person as is what it is and they're not right for you you just keep going back like you just keep the same routine with this person you just keep it going even though it's not moving even though you know this is not what you want emotionally. Like, you know you want more emotionally. The overall energy is the six of swords in reverse. There's no movement. 
This is not moving anywhere. But yet, Ten of Swords, no matter how many times they betray you, no matter how many times they lie to you, no matter how many times you catch them in a lie, no matter how many times you are stuck at home at night wanting and yearning for this person and them not being able to show up for you, no matter how many times they cannot show up for you financially, no matter how many times they cannot show up for you emotionally, you are still here. What is it? Whoever you are, you need to be in our spiritual enlightenment class. Now, tonight, it, the class starts tonight, so you're going to get this video tonight. You can very well still pay for the class because it's only one class in. You can still join, and then I'll go over what, because tonight is mainly like an introduction and so on and so forth. I do go over information, but I will be able to give that to you. Somebody here got to get out of their head and let this go. You know exactly who you are. You know exactly what you need to do. This is not it. It's not moving anywhere. I feel like you don't want to take a loss. Like if you've helped this person financially or just even just put a lot of energy into this, you want you would prefer to have <clears throat> to have balance in this situation than to lose out on everything that you've invested. Now keep in mind, a lot of times we invest more into a situation than we need to because we won't let it go because of the emotional aspect, because of the bond that we have with this person. There's some type of soul bond that you have with this person. But, <clears throat> obviously, this person is not ready, okay? This person could be a karmic. It could be a divine connection sitting in to teach you a lesson, sitting in to teach you how to love yourself more. But you can't hold on to something that you see is just not working. Mm -mm. Gotta let it go. Let me see. Let me pull from the soulmate deck and see what this Okay, external party. So this person could be lying about dealing with other people. This person could be married. You had a stalemate because it's not going. Someone is just not being honest here. Ah, uh, divine masculine. All right, new love, new love, new phase in love is beginning. So it's an on and off again thing. Even though you know it's toxic, but you keep giving it another try because you really want it to work. Lesson from Pluto. Pluto's the planet of power. Patterns of control, power manipulation, and intense push and pull attraction. Intimacy is not possessive. Somebody's just like, no, I'm not, I'm not going to lose what I've invested in this. This is the divine masculine, but the divine masculine is coming through with deception, right? King of wands in reverse. Someone is not being honest or is withholding information. They're, they can't be what you need them to be because they're not being truthful with you. It's some things that, and I, I don't even feel like you don't know it. I feel like you know it, but they have never told you. So you may feel like you tripping, you know what I'm saying? Because you have never gotten this person to verify. Simply speaking, around holidays, even if you don't celebrate the holidays, if this is your person and y'all are together, there's no way that this person isn't going to be around you for the holidays. Even if they have kids, they're going to take you with them to see their kids, right? When a person tells you, oh, no, my baby mama tripping or my baby daddy tripping, so you can't go with me. Red flag. Red, tell them to meet you at your mama's house. Red flag. You know, a lot of things that we tolerate that we can really look at and be like, oh, it ain't right. If you wasn't with this person for the last three holidays, Thanksgiving, Christmas, and New Year's, and we, you don't have to believe in that, but they're big somewhere. Somebody believes in them. You went with this person, you know that. This person tell you they get money, but every time it's time for them to help you out with something, they can't never help you out. Red flag. This person telling you how they get money, but yet they still ain't got their life in, in order. Red flag. All right. So let when you when you get around to letting this go, that's when you'll have a new beginning. And again, I'm not here for judgment because guess what? We all have our own cycles that we have to go through. And you're not going to let this go until you are ready to let it go. Okay? You got to be ready. You got to learn your lessons. I can tell you all day, walk away, run. But if you're not ready to walk away and run, Libra, you're going to go right back. You know what I'm saying? So you got to heal and you got to see this and you got to listen to your intuition that's telling you, hey, there's no forward movement with this situation. This situation isn't getting better for me. I'm not getting what I want emotionally and et cetera, et cetera. You got you to gotta convince yourself that it's over.
All right, so I see someone's getting blocked, blocking communication access, denied. Okay, uh, confusion. Okay, there's a lot of confusion going on at this time. You will grow from this situation, yeah, because when you realize that this situation is not meant for you, then you're gonna walk away from it. Uh, <clears throat> someone has been using dark magic. If you guys um, click the description box below, my Instagram and my my TikTok is there. I post collective readings there if you are interested, but the reading tonight <clears throat> talked about black magic, so that may apply to you. Yeah. Okay. Codependency relationship is present. Yeah. This person could be codependent. They need your help. Same ish, different day. Somebody's playing games. Toxic family dynamic. I do see you dodging the haters, dodging the BS. You're protected from the haters. Eventually, you're going to run from this situation, okay? You could be moving. Somebody is getting caught up, okay? So, I feel like it, it's going to take them to get caught up one more time, and then you're going to be done. And you're like, uh-uh, I'm done. I'm over. I can't I can't do this, right? Good luck with this. I share.